Hello, welcome to my channel. The time now is 6.28 p.m. Friday. August the 5th. Before I do anything, I must give praise to the Most High. Um, and the subject and my topic today is fake OGs. And I'm going to speak about Indians. And I'm going to speak about uh, Marley and her family. Say hi to everybody. And I hope she has to be very successful when growing up. I hope nothing for the best for her, Marley. Praises to her, uh, her mother doing a good job with her children and how her and her fiance stay together so life is something like having your companion to help support you. Now to these fools, these OGs, wanna be OG. Uh, and if you like what I'm saying, you can share, like, and subscribe. But to these fake ass OGs, um, I wish people wouldn't use that word, I'm an OG, because you're not. You will want to be bootleg OG, uh, OG, original gangster. It's like somebody like Al Capone, you don't condone what he did. This guy threatened me that he was an OG. You don't have no uh, military. You don't have cops in your pocket. You don't have lawyers, politicians, and the mayor backing you. You ain't nothing but a little loud mouth bastard. And um, that's what I want to say about them. When the guy threatened me, uh, I wouldn't use that word. Uh, you know, tell me he been in jail five years. That I was scared of him. And uh, I wasn't. I, I just looked at him and I said, because uh, OG, Al Capone didn't live in no ghetto. He didn't be on the corner like you do. He had an army, a military, stuff like that. You don't have none of that. So you're not an OG, you're a faker. And, and like your stuff, I F me up to my eyes, you around. Uh, OG, if he going to F you up, he going to do He's not going to sit there and talk. He's not going to give you another chance. I see you around. He'll pop you. You have the devil have his boys do so you fake. They don't be hesitating to give a person a chance to walk away. That's why I didn't know you was a faker. This guy actually threatened my life, and um, that's why I, um, uh, I knocked him out. I saw him again, he was trying to fight me again, and um, that's why I told the girl, You hear these guys saying they oh gee, they're all fakers. Uh, OG original uh, original gangster. They get their hair done. They don't go to the barber. The barber comes to their house. That's how much juice they got. They got about twenty four servers and maids and people people that drive them around like chauffeur and stuff like that. You don't have none of that. That's why I say he's a big mouth nigga. And I mean that. And, and every time I see this guy, he keep trying to fight me. I'm gonna do like Mike Tyson. Every time they see Mike Tyson. He's going to beat his ass every time he saw him. Every time he saw this guy see me, that's what's going to happen to him. So, uh, and I don't care what people call me a snitch or not. I'm not no snitch, but the same thing. If your family was getting beat up, you going to want to know who did it. But y'all was y'all believing this undercover bull crap that y'all were gangsters and you're not. I wouldn't even make a statement like that unless I was like Al Capone. You, you ain't Al Capone. He had an army, like I said before. He had a military, he had soldiers, he had cops, fire department, all them people in his in his corner. You ain't got nothing but your mouth and the empty space. That's why I took that very offensive when he when he, when he said what he said to me. Yep, and uh and uh it's like the audit people. They some more uh little uh, wanna be um gangster group. How they talk to the cops and stuff. You know, I know cops, some of them ain't good. Some of them is some cops do things the right way, and some cops are different. 
they always arrest and cop. They probably can they don't no cop know they do see how they talk to cop. I told the girl it's just a form of making money. Small cop and police car. Who does it? You don't see no reporters shining in the lights in the police car. And a lot of times, that's why I see why a lot of times the cops don't like to fool you. Y'all love because y'all. Y'all don't even want to do nothing with anything but arrest people that really work hard and then right away they think everybody's supposed to bow down to them and if you don't talk to them a certain way, I've taken you to court. I got, I got my lawyer on the phone now. Like they, that's all scare tactics. They like to try to scare people. You don't put no fear in my heart. You little dumb criminal. Y'all, you know, but common criminals. Half of them probably got police records on them registered sex offenders. Yeah, I talk about y'all. And the thing that fake might be saying to people that I want to bump, bump, Wink your uh, your wife. Well, what kind of uh, press say that? I even see some of them put the word. They get somebody. You had that press credential. You do so even in the White House. Recognize press credentials. And you just look at them old movies in the 1940s and 30s. You would see them have press on their shirt. Y'all is not the press. I ain't no journalist. Anymore. Journalists don't be having a real journalist be carrying a little damn cell phone. And and that's why they get mad. Oh, I don't have a big camera like you. Uh, I have a news because they the news. And a, a lot of them don't know how to shoot their, their camera angles or nothing. It be, their videos always be shaking like they on drugs or something. Like the other one, um, it's like the other guy, probably didn't even know what the cop was talking about. Then you supposed to have money while you asking your uh, viewers to send donate money to your channel. Uh, they, they little hustle car artists. A lot of them got criminal records. Like that show I watched, Lock Up. All they know is criminal activity. That's why they like to do what they do. Like I was watching this show called Lock Up. This lady got this guy all these clothes, gave him over twenty thousand dollars. That's a hustle. They like they a con artist or a person being jailed. That's his life. That's all he knows is how to hustle people. They don't know how to get a real job. That's why they like this order stuff. Cause they give them a chance to harass people. It's my no harass or. No oh, ill will touch. Yes, it is. I see how y'all act. Y'all can tell me this ain't Nazi Germany. Yes, it is. You making it Nazi Germany where y'all act. Y'all think somebody got to bow down. To I never heard one of them once say, I don't know. Then they act like they know every damn thing nobody else is. Everybody else is dumb and stupid. A lot of times they, they use that Third Amendment to hide behind it. They use it like a person walk with a, a handicap. That's all what that is. They try to intimidate people with that word. And they always say, you're going to be on the internet for life. And, and like, they try to threaten you with the camera. That's why I told people a camera is a weapon. They, when, they, when they call it not um, it's a camera, not a weapon, they use it for their, their management. It's like that cop said, I'm not here for your entertainment. I'm not here for your entertainment. To them, it is entertainment because they try to get views. That's why they don't like people. They don't like the police. Only person they love is the, the silly firefighter, and and um, that's who they like to be, uh, be around, like calling them heroes. And uh, that's why I said I took offense to what he said that about um, what that he said about cops are not a hero; they don't rescue people. That's a lie. A lot of cops do rescue people. A lot of them have died bravely too. Like I was saying before in my other video, a lot of cops died in the in the World Trade Center. Only thing he could get. He had amnesia. He was too coked up with drugs. I can remember. I know a lot of them is criminal. That's why they always want to answer questions. A criminal don't never like to answer questions. He know he's doing something wrong. He always ask a question. Are you hiding anything? Y'all don't want to hide anything. Y'all go and post and buy a little damn stamp. That make people think that you got to answer to their business. That's why you buy the stamp so you can stay in there. Because when I go in there, I buy a whole book of stamps. Who won't buy one stamp? He won't need another one for later or something. That's why I know they ain't about nothing. It ain't not depression. Depression is not talking nasty to people like that. Tell people to suck on them and stuff like that. You've been in prison. I mean, you probably in here doing that. That's why y'all like to tell other people you've been locked up and stuff like that. And, I mean, a lot of them got things on their record that they can't get off. That's why they, they retaliate with this. But this audit stuff, like, that they really care about the people. Their ego and their little stuff is crushed. So they like to come out of events. You know they always go and attack the cops. 
up. They always do that. And um, I don't like when they do something like that. And all those cops that got killed in the World Trade, and I guess none of them wasn't heroes either. That's a hero act when a cop tell you to get out of the building and everything falls on him. Nobody cares about him. He's a cop. Y'all don't really like cops. Y'all is mad because y'all feel like y'all little ego was hurt. That's why y'all like to go to these station houses and harass cops that is around and come tell the cop. Oh, see what y'all think because y'all pay somebody's salary. Y'all think y'all can just order people around like they did your, your, your butt on lap, lap rat. You know, but that's not true. Everybody got um, um, equal rights. Even a cop, which y'all don't think them, as y'all think it's cop is garbage. Y'all believe everybody. Y'all act like y'all better than people. It's like immigrants when they come to this country, they think they better than America. Like, what the hell are you doing in our country? Man, you want to act like that. Y'all act the same way they act with the camera. Um, I'm sleepy. I've been up all day, so I cut this one short. But like, people got to stop doing that to one another. It's always a person of color. Like, when I was in Walmart, Puerto Rican people bother me for no reason. They like to buy you. You would figure it would be the Euro, European descent person when they bother you. But it's always a, a damn immigrant of color. I said, if you don't like me, go back to your country. Ask what country I come from. I come from this country. I don't come from no foreign country. That's why when the African said what he said to that uh, African American, I didn't like it. So I'm like, what y'all do? to lay down and make babies get on welfare. That's what they've been told in their country. That's what they really is turned around. You don't see no black Americans up in social service. You go there, everybody's a goddamn immigrant. Only you know the black guy, because he might be in the background or somewhere like that. Or he might work there. You don't see no black people sitting up there. You go there, it would be Chinese, East Indian, uh, Arabs, um, Jamaicans, Africans. It's so rude. They think that, I'm not saying all right. They think that America owes you something. You in my country, man, acting snobbish. You got your damn nerve. When for America, y'all would have no place to go. To. And that's all I want to say right now. Uh, I know that means take care. You have a blessed, blessed evening. I hope. Thank you. And. I'll see y'all later. Naish.